ticking in fur. How do you paint something like that in watercolor? Many animals such as koalas, raccoons, and different kinds of cats and dogs have what is called ticking, which is just flecks or spots of color on white areas. This intermixing of dark and light fur is so beautiful and probably a downright nightmare to paint, right? Well, let me assure you, it's not impossible to paint. In today's video, I'll show you my process of picking and choosing which details to paint and which ones to omit, as well as which brushes to use in order to create the illusion of ticking and fur on this koala. My first tip is to subscribe. It's totally free. I post new watercolor videos every week, so go ahead and do that right now. Okay, when painting animals with complex fur colors, it's just a good idea to start by imagining what that animal would look like if it was only made out of the lightest color. For my little koala here, I created a very light, earthy purple using ultramarine, alizarin crimson, and transparent brown oxide. When I look at the reference photo and try to imagine the koala without any dark fur ticking, I see light purple. Use wet and wet to paint these base layers. This technique will help the color spread smoothly and evenly. For more about using wet and wet to paint fur, check out this video. Once the lightest values have been painted in, you can start building up your values slowly in multiple layers. By the time you get to the second layer, you can already begin adding some fur detail. Try to think about painting, ticking and fur in three to four layers, starting with the white of the paper, then the light values, and then medium, and then dark. This second layer is all done in mid-tones using short, quick brush strokes with the tiny point of a round brush and flattening out the brush to create broader washes wherever you want to darken bigger sections without adding detail just yet. In the reference photo, there are areas such as on the sides of the head that are darker in value. Wherever possible, try to paint these values gradually darker using broad tinted washes without too much detail until those areas are dark enough. One problem I often see with beginners is that they want to rush into the details too soon without first creating a sufficient foundation for those detailed layers. So set yourself up for success by squinting at your photo and seeing the bigger light and shadow shapes before diving into all those tiny little hair details. Now in areas that move away from the focal point, such as this front arm, you can simplify a lot more. Move your brush more freely using broader brush strokes and just include enough detail so that it doesn't look detached from the rest of the painting. Once you're happy with your base washes, you can finally start painting the final layers of fur texture. This is where you get to paint those flecks of dark fur. My favorite brush for this technique is my Lebenzin Small Brown Synthetic Brush. The bristles can be controlled so they come to the finest point imaginable, or you can allow them to separate, creating natural little gaps. This brushwork technique easily and beautifully replicates the separate strands of colored hairs in an animal with ticked fur. Keep in mind that this layer will not all be the same color or value. You'll still need to study your reference photo carefully so you can adjust how light or dark these bits of fur are and always move your brush strokes in the direction the fur is growing. If you're using transparent paints, you can also add final washes over the top of your fur details in any areas that still need to go darker. This little guy did not take me hours and hours to paint. Because I tried to simplify wherever possible, it actually only took about an hour and 15 minutes. So if you want to try painting right along with me, this tutorial is available in real time through my Watercolor Mastery membership, along with over 100 other narrated tutorials. I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can check that out. If you found this video helpful, leave me a like and a comment, and I'll see you in the next video.